So, this is my brother, Matthew Thomas. Cheers, you buggers! Yeah! <laughs> what do you do for a living, man? I'm a musician. A lot of things. What, what, what kind of musician? Drummer. You're a a drummer. rock musician. A rock musician. Because can you not tell by the long hair and the sunglasses <laughs> and the leather jacket, yeah? And trying to be a badass. Yeah, stereotyping myself. <laughs> <laughs> stereotyping yourself. Yeah, man. What band do you play for? The Joy Formidable. You know all this. I know all this, but they don't know this. Well, that's true. Who are they, anyway? Yeah, just, yeah, who are you? Who are you? <laughs> I'm sick of this. What have you been up to? Been sorting me house out. Nice. So, yeah, just painting. I like that we come to his house and he's already got a blue screen set up. So yeah, brilliant. You know, yeah. roll. That's the way that these rock stars roll. Yeah. Obviously, you know I've got cancer. Yeah. 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 How does it affect you, man? Uh, it's a bummer. Obviously, that's an understatement. Yeah. But, you know, it hurts. But you gotta just keep going. Yeah. Yeah, man. What, what do you think of me going through this and then vlogging it and then showing the world what I'm doing? Well, it gives you something to do, doesn't it? Yeah, it definitely gives me something to do, yeah. <laughs> but it's good that people can see the full spectrum of emotion attached with, uh, you know, a cancer sufferer, I yeah. guess, if you want to call it that. Victim. Yeah. A victim. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not a victim. I don't know what you're saying. I'm not like it's yeah. cancer's a crime and it's killing you. It's a crime! <laughs> it's a <laughs> Crime! It's come for you. Yeah, exactly. Oh, man. Call so... the cancer police. <laughs> what did you feel like when you first found out I was like diagnosed with cancer? Well, pretty sad. I'll be honest. It's it's not a good thing to hear, is it? And sometimes you think, oh, okay, diagnosed with cancer. There's a lot of better cures these days, and maybe it's just one of those things that will you go for treatment and it goes. But your version of cancer is a lot different. Yeah, yeah, so there's nothing at the moment that they can do properly to fix it. That's why we're researching it, that's why we're trying to do everything we can to try and fix it. That's the best thing that we can do at the end of the day. Exactly. What would you do in my situation? <sighs> Curl up in a bed and cry. Yeah, I probably would, yeah. <laughs> I'd probably be like, <laughs> What am I going to do now? That's what I was like for ages. I'm going to take these sunglasses off. It's not really working for me. On the grand scale of things, family-wise, um, what was I like when I was growing up? You were all right. You know, you were a bit... I thought I was a <laughs> Well, that, you know, when you got to a certain age, everything changed. <laughs> there was a right little bleep. Uh, so, yeah, so... Well, I was an ass when I was a kid, so... You, you set fire to the hats and, like, put cats in... The what? Did you put the cat in the tumble dryer? Because you thought the cat... Matt's a funny story about Matt, uh, which I'm sure he'll tell you. Uh, go for it. Yeah, well, uh, obviously I was very young, maybe four or less, and uh, there was a cat in our garden and it was getting rained on. It was all wet. I thought, well, the best way to uh, help this cat out is to put it in the tumble dryer. So that's what I did. <laughs> and uh, luckily my mum caught me in the act and the cat well, it was, uh, well, rescued. Don't put cats in tumble dryers. Don't, don't do any of this stuff because it's incredibly stupid. Don't play ping pong with goldfish. <laughs> <laughs> Drop kick penguins. Yeah, so you're, you've been all over the world, haven't you? Yeah, pretty much. Almost everywhere. Almost everywhere. Well, not Man. almost everywhere. Don't take that as, uh, you know, literally I've been everywhere. I'm everywhere. It's crazy. <laughs> I've been in your house. I've been in your house. I've been in your house. You've had a good, good run with the with the band and stuff. Yeah, we've been. You've played, played, very... you, you played some massive places. We have like Madison Square Garden. Yeah. You played with the Foos. Yeah. You did the Twilight soundtrack. We did. <laughs> a, a, a quick question, um, which you asked me a long, long time ago. Yeah. Who is Skrillex? <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> I call him Skrollux. <laughs> Hi Skrollux! <laughs> Richard Duck up, it'd be cool. Actually, you were going to ask me something and then I said something about Skrillex and I... Yeah, <laughs> I forgot! I never feel this! <laughs> <laughs> so, you live in Torquay now? I do. I moved here... When the flip did I move here? About a week ago. I love it. Love yeah. Torquay. It's like being on holiday permanently. Really. That's, that's what I thought, actually. I thought that it, it's very, very... Very nice. Mm. It's like incredibly nice. It's the English Riviera. <laughs> the English Riviera. 
Um, but you can also visit here if you're from another country. It's not <laughs> specifically for English people. It's, it, they just know, it's in England, therefore named the English Riviera. Yeah, yeah, right. How do I feel about my cancer? It's a bit of a joke, to be honest. Um, my cancer is ridiculously, ridiculously rare, and it just, just is evil. Are there any questions you want to ask me? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> you can't just put me on the spot like that. I, can't. I think I know, I've got all the answers I need from, uh, you know, check it out your blog. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, check out my blog, <laughs> pingweetimes.com. If you're bored, uh, just have a look, I write ramblings of my uh, brain farts on there. Yeah, see? It's rather limiting. It is, it is life limiting. It is, it is definitely life limiting. It's madly life limiting, really, to be honest, because I don't think people understand really the gravity of the pain element, and then they don't understand the like the, the after effects of surgery. And okay, I'll do everything. I'll go rock climbing. I'll go do anything that I can do within my means. But at the same time it's severely limiting. I can't go and do my normal job because no one knows if I'm stable enough to work, so in a couple of weeks I think I'll have to have surgery again. So I can't do any of all this, and I've, I can't have chemo at some point. And, you know, it's one of them. And with, uh, with your back as well, yeah. you can't bend right down, can you? Or do, or do <laughs> Matt, yesterday, when I posted my video yesterday, said that little slow-mo clip looks like you're taking a poo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I can't bend down, but I can't bend over. That's it. So I can't bend over, so picking up stuff off the floor is pretty awkward. And I don't have the strength in this arm anymore to pick stuff up or like lift weight. You can get our vine in now, because it's a bit loud. I would be absolutely <clears throat> uh, in trouble if I couldn't move my arms and legs fully. Because you play the drums. That's what I do. Yeah, you're a drummer. I have to move my arms and legs. Yeah, well, that's, yeah, yeah, that's my career. Like, right yeah. And yeah, yeah, it's your career. You make money off this thing. Yes. Yeah. So you've got, you've got to, uh, you've got to do that. I'm going to leave it there because uh, I'm running out of time in the day. But that's my brother, Matthew. It's me. Uh, he's the guy from the Joy from Middle. Check him out. I'll put a link in the thing below. Um, and yeah, he's 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 a rock star. <laughs> Genuine bona fide rock star. It's pretty boring. <laughs> <laughs>